Hey everyone, what's up? Hope everyone is doing well. Uh, welcome to another interview experience video. Uh, this is probably going to be the last success story and then after this a lot of failure story is going to come in. But uh, uh, as I have already created videos on Microsoft, Walmart, Goldman, Cisco, Nutanix, feel free to watch those. And um, this is going to be about AMD. Uh, those who don't know about AMD, it's like kind of a competitor to nvidia right semiconductor kind of a company so feel free to look that up and i interviewed for senior software engineer role i'm going to tell my interview experience and the prep tips that i followed because i was able to crack this offer right and be before we get started those who are new to the channel uh, my channel generally talks about design and dsa because i have experience in these two domains and last year when I was regularly participating in lead code contest, I crossed 2000 lead code rating. Feel free to check out my profile. Currently I work at Microsoft and uh, last year again, and when I was switching, I received close to 10 job offers, seven to eight videos I've already created. And then uh, I have given more than 100 plus interview rounds, not interview at companies, these are interview rounds. And then uh, there I have solved more than 3000 coding problems across five years, right? If you are new to the channel, you like the videos, feel free to consider subscribing. Watch at 1.5x better for better experience. Join everyday live stream if you have any questions, right? Happy to help or leave those comment uh, questions in the chat. Cool. With that said, uh, let's get started. So a uh, couple of the companies that I was able to crack were these and then I got rejection also. So the rejected uh, companies are these and many more, right? So as this video is going to be about AMD, so let's get started. Uh, cool. So coming first to resume and application, this is clueless me. I think by now you would have understood in every video I say that I was clueless when I was preparing for which right because I did not have much idea. I've been at the same company from last two, two, three years, got campus placement. So didn't have much insight. So how did I reply, right? So I used one page. Uh, one page resume, right? And then, uh, so the resume video is there on the channel. Resume video on channel, and my exact re resume editable on top mate, right? All the links are there in the bento link that I share in the description of the channel. And then, how did I got the call? So, right, I got the call from Nokari. So, again, how to apply? How did I apply video again is on the channel. Feel free to watch that as well. So I I have a very updated, I had very updated profile on Nokri with all the details should be updated, right? And with Nokri, the thing is that I was aware that the more Nokri, the more the app you use, the more calls you get, right? They have some sort of algorithm like so. So try to stay there for every day, like 10 to 20 minutes. I did that and I got a call like Flipkart also came from Nokri. And then AMD also came from Nokri and then got a couple of Walmart calls, even though I had cleared Walmart's interview for various teams, right? Never try to think of a company as a one team, right? You might interview with one team. There are a lot of hundred other teams like in big techs, right? Walmart, Goldman, these are all big companies, right? Don't judge any company by your experience, interview experience with one team, right? There are a lot of other teams as well in the in the in the in the company so always we have that mentality i had that naive mentality when i got when i was in college i got rejected by amazon so i that then i rejected amazon that i'll not interview with them that it should not be like that right so um, that's the situation so now uh how did i apply so that's a pretty simple right got a got a call from recruiter right and then recruiter said that it is going to be ssc role right why i am looking for trade we got on a call and then i said that i am actively interviewing as well so i'll be happy to uh, go into the loop right and all that so then the first round that uh, this was a tech round right kind of a phone screening round that was then not a phone screening i had already got an invite for round two also so both of them were uh, kind of scheduled at the same time so this was early in the morning i think maybe the interviewer for, was from us or not early in the morning right so dsa oriented round right so i was given two questions and i solved both of them sold both in 25 minutes so if i have to like both of the questions were not directly from need code but if you have solved need code 150 or top 150 interview questions right these will help you to understand what is being asked in an interview, right? And then uh, if you participate regularly in lead code contest, this will help you build the speed 
build speed solve uns unseen problems right so mix of both is really important right feel free to watch how i got better at lead code video game on the channel right and one was graph graph and try mix problem right and then the second one was the array problem hash map kind of a thing right so like when you solve problems regularly you will get on you'll you'll be in a phase where you'll be able to solve like dejectra try things in 10 to 15 minutes right and this problem hardly will take 10 minutes so that's how my interview went right overall i think it was like a 30 minute it was meant to be 60 minutes but i really performed well so i'll give myself 10 out of 10 and you can also do the same like last year if i talk about when i was in college i never thought that i'll be this good at dsa but then eventually with practice with solving a lot of question you can achieve that right so then uh, the tech round 2 happened right in this it was mixed taken by two interviewers and by two interviewers like kind of seniors seniors uh, senior interviewers by senior i mean like one was more than probably 15 plus EO, uh, yue right and then uh, other thing that it was non indian like um, so abroad or let's say not not indian interviewers right so sometimes there is an accent mismatch whenever you are interviewing with a non indian like because you have to understand that i faced that in google i was not really able to understand what the interview is trying to say so that is always you have to kind of always adjust right understand properly and i would say if you if you didn't really connect with them you can always talk to recruiter right but mostly it is kind of okay here it was okay right so i was uh, given kind of a link list hard problem right this is i had seen link list problem in other interviews also like walmart but this was comparatively way harder right again if you have solved need code 150 top 150 and then you have solved like 15 to 20 link list problems you should be good right so that's why every data structure is important right so there are 10 to 20 design pattern like coding patterns that i'll be making a video on a lot of comments i've got on that but i just wanted to finish this first so there will be a video coming on that but this if you have solved 15 to 20 problems if i have to ask mix so five should should be like easy and then 10 medium and then five hard right this should be the split of your link list problem solving right and then after this so this was meant this this went around for 30 40 minutes uh, I was expected to solve the problem in 30, 40 minutes. I did that. Uh, did not ran it because a link list problem, it is tough to uh, ran if you don't have that classes or not, right? So then project question I got. Project question by what I mean is resume. Resume related things. So you should always be sure about whatever you have written on your resume. You should be able to answer the questions around that, right? Don't just write random things, right? Just a tip from my side. So uh, then uh, let's go to hiring manager round. This was one of the best rounds, I believe, apart from all the companies because uh, very uh, relaxed and chill round. So this timeline was around. Uh, so when I was interviewing with AMD, I already had got an offer from Informatica and uh, Nutanix and I think Flipkart and Walmart, right? So I already had this offers and Informatica being the highest. So before in this tech round two, I had already recruiters already reached out to me because both of these were really good. This was just meant for to me explain uh, like manager wanted to explain what is the role about my aspirations etc and and also a good thing of manager was x6 so right so uh, x so and generally you will find that people who had worked at cisco they are very humble like other companies is also same but i have never came across someone who was rude at cisco because i have also worked there it's a very good company to work for and people are very humble like very humble manager i would say right so and uh, so we had a conversation for more than one hour i think one hour plus one go right and then uh, as i mentioned right i already had these two offers and uh, so we had a chat and then there was a chat about if i am holding any offers or not and then even about the compensation 
compensation generally you will not discuss compensation with your hiring manager it rarely happens recruiter is always the one who is discussing that but here my conversation because i think the i was told that they'll not be able to match the informatic offer uh table to match the informatica offer right so that is what uh, so like if i talk about informatica offer also it was around 28 uh, base right and then uh, rsus uh, or you can think of it like 5 to it was 30 split over four uh, three years so that comes around 8 uh, per year right so this was so that's why the ctc was coming around 30 35 right 35 so uh, that was the pain but then they being very honest uh, they told that they'll not be able to match it but explained about the role it was a new role new team was establishing in india so um, and then uh, we talked about other things also like career aspirations right and then what were my what are, why i was looking for chi things like that but overall it was like they didn't want really want me to judge on something because they already knew that i have performed really well in tech round 1 and tech round 2 uh, but here i had to kind of make the call that i'll not be moving forward because uh, informatica was the one that was paying more and also the job role here was more on the automation kind of side not pure engineering right so that was basically the interview experience right and then i did not i informed the recruiter and i did not wanted to move forward with the offer process here so i kind of ended the interview experience here right but overall feedback was positive right so that was my experience of amd pretty straight forward pretty short um interview experience video right but i am really happy that i could excel these tech round twos right and coming to the resources i think if someone is new to the channel i'll just walk them through what all i do right and even i do that to this day because i have started enjoying that now uh so lead code is the best platform out there east or west lead code is the best right so lead code plus youtube is good enough for dsa you don't have to spend a penny on dsa you have already spent money on your degree if you are watching this video i assume either you are pursuing a degree or you are working professional right then both of the ways you have already spent the time right you have already spent the money so you don't need to spend any other money it's just like dsa the learning dsa is just like going to a gym right you can get a personal mem- training from any any of the coach out there but they are not going to lift the weights for you right you all have to lift the weights for yourself right so as simple as that right so if you can if you want a mentor you want a dedicated course on dsc you can get that but it's not like that it is automatically build it, it is automatically going to build your intuition that's not going to happen right so and everybody starts as a beginner you are not you you are you will not solve problems when you just start right it is going to take time give it time give it that time and then coming to low level design here there was no low level design but for low level design i would highly suggest educative uh, ashish pratap's repo is good and then you chat gpt as much as you can right try to learn validate these things from that right and uh, then uh, again for hld there are tons of resources i'll just walk you through those and then for behavior also you should always use the star method right so this was the uh, let's move to the resources now right i'll just zoom this out looks really good i'll attach these exactly links also if you want to later take a look at it but this is a bento page right this is a bento page it's in the description everything that i have kind of gone through is here so you can take a look if you want to connect with me one on one you can go to this and then you can connect via mentorship and then you can see all the testimonials once you see the testimonials then only you connect right uh and then after that if you have to go with dsa these sheets are really good top entry 150 if you want to see all one scene problems go go solve problems this way right this these are also really good and then low level design i highly recommend this course by grokking right uh, it is paid resource right if you want to get a discount you can use this link it will give you around 70% discount some days it is 70 some days it is 60 right so feel free to just check it out or reach out to me if you are facing any issues with that but let's say if you don't want to spend money then you can go through this repo right it is not that exhaustive as the course there will be mostly the question you will be getting will be from this if you get a question outside of this 
then still you'll be able to answer it because you have practiced a lot of questions variant to that right hld uh, hello interview is awesome right uh, system design by karan patap is also awesome it's a someone wants to read the read me you can someone wants prefers read reading resources then this is good system design by code karle is really good these both guys have worked at meta and they um, bite by bite go by alex you is really good i think he has worked also at great companies uh jenga win means the one i think jenga is one of them so right so really good resources all of these are really good and uh, i have also created some videos around how you should answer the question on hld feel free to give that a go as well right uh, with that said uh, thanks everyone thanks for watching this was uh, my amd interview experience great company to work for uh, hope it helps you anyway right like subscribe share i should find this helpful thanks guys bye